Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, recording this video a second time because unfortunately I forgot to record my audio. Today's video, we're going to be going over the This Month in Dragalia Lost for December 20, 2020. Um, this is going to basically tell us what's coming this month in Dragalia. Um, I'm going to go over it, give some thoughts, skim through it, read some stuff, and that's going to be the video. So if you remember, if you end up liking this video, you can leave a like. It supports the channel a whole bunch, and it would mean a lot to me if you actually did it. Um, subscribe to me if you want some more stuff. I currently made it past 1,800 subscribers, so I'm pretty close to 2,000, and I hope to get there by the end of the year. Seems kind of impossible, but whatever, I'm going to try. And finally, you can comment and tell me what you feel about this month in Dragalia. So, of course, this starts off with them telling us about um, the current event that's going on, featuring Pekaron, um, the uh, Princess Collab. I, I keep forgetting the full name of this. Princess Connect Redive. There you go. Um, just kind of goes into where saying because she was the only character, they were able to like really focus in on her animations. Which, yeah, it's true. They basically did the Mega Man event, but good. Well, except for the boss. The boss. <laughs> the boss is. Uh, the boss is the boss. So here's some stuff for this month. They're gonna mana spiral Serena and Yuya, two fire four stars. I think I saw someone post that um, we haven't had a four star in six months. I think basically, I think Journey to the West was the last time we got a four star unit. Um, that's kind of crazy, but I also think it's probably because a lot of four stars need mana spirals to kind of reach i mean to be fair so do a lot of five stars so i don't know why i know exactly why they stopped making four stars because at a certain point like why don't they add four st i think the only gotcha i know that still adds S sr characters is um that that is ongoing i uh, is a uh, fake grand order that's the only one i can think of that still actively adds um lower rarity characters <laughs> Most gotchas just stop at a certain point. Like, Dokkan doesn't add SRs anymore. Um, if I played any more gotchas, but those two. No, I'm kidding. So, well, uh, I'll move on. It's nice that these two are getting mana spirals. They need it. Dragon Yule's coming back. They've confirmed that at least one male and one female adventurer. On the same note as this, we have never received a five-star male Dragon Yule character. They've all been four stars. Xavier and... Um, Zamfried are both four star <laughs> Christmas units. So hopefully this year, um, for the ladies out there, they'll finally get their five star man. Um, though I think in a lot of ways that's kind of like a the monkey's paw wish, because now it's gonna be much harder for them to pull their man, so good luck out there. I'm I'm you know, all about equality for everyone. You should get beef cakes and I should get my beef mamas. Is that what they call? Is that what you call hot women, ladies? Let me know. Tell me in the comments. Uh, let's move on. By the way, also I ho I wonder if the dragon is also not going to be limited because um, this dragon here she is um, not limited. She's limited, so wonder if that's going to be going. And a dash of disaster is going to be coming back um, for the facility event that has I think wand and blade units. No, that powers up wand and blade uh, dudes. This is the <laughs> this is the event that gave us people. So maybe we can look for a mana spiral for people. Who knows? Did you know that uh, if you play Princess Connect, you can actually get people in um in your game. <laughs> that sucks because there's like a big chunky pitbull that I badly want. It's in, but it's not in Dragalia. It's in a game that is not Dragalia. So. If you love Princess Connect, get that people. Enjoy that chunk people. This will be coming. This will have a rerun somewhere mid-December. I don't know if either one of these really need mana spirals. I think both of them are still... Valero and <laughs> Mitsuba are still pretty solid as units, so... Don't expect a mana spiral. At least I don't expect one. Chapter 17 will be coming out mid-December. Cool. We'll be going to the first destination, North Crestia, and we'll have a bunch of characters. Um, time attack challenges are coming back. Uh, except they're weird this time because it looks i think previously you can only do them on um high dragon trials and now you can do them on imperial onslaught void paddles advanced dragon trials standard difficulty and the Yigido uprising on standard difficulty uh so it looks like they kind of widened the roster i don't it's weird to see someone mention imperial onslaught i thought that they had just like given up on imperial onslaught and void battles i think the only thing good for void battles now is telling us which gala dragon is coming next basically um 
time attack is apparently something that's extremely controversial and Dragalia lost. I never really did it back in the day, but that's because I didn't really play the game that way back then. I wasn't really all about the time attack and trying to beat other people. I was more about just kind of enjoying my mim and being happy. But apparently time attack was bad enough that a lot of players quit Dragalia. And I saw a lot of people when they announced that time attack was coming back kind of going, I'm leaving Dragalia. I thought they learned their mistakes last time. But it seems like there's nothing really big coming out of this. It seems like the only thing that their guild can get is like a special epithet. Um, which is like, I mean, if you want to waste your time. Okay harsh if you want to spend the time to get the that epithet all the power to you but if there's a way for me to just very easily beat the time attack and get everything i need and dip out that's perfectly fine if someone wants to get a 0 0.01 second imperial onslaught time more power freaking to you i do not care just give me whatever rewards i can get from time attack and i'll call it a day because it used to be you know pre wormite drought um, I would just ignore time attack because I knew I didn't need anything from it. But if this is going to have Wormite in it from like the basic level, I have to at least do some of it. At least I assume that's what they're going to be giving. We'll see. We'll see more when it comes out um, late December. In a future update, they're going to be updating Alberian Battle Royale, which is cool for Battle the Billion Battle Royale. It's kind of nice that they just keep on working on it, which is kind of cool. Um, this They're working on the next Agito Uprising um not the next Agito Uprising, the thing that will secede Agito Uprising. This is a boss from it, which someone described as the waifu version of the one of the bosses from Kirby. And it does look a lot like that Kirby boss now that I think about it. I forget the name of it. It's the weird wizard thing that you fight in Kirby All-Stars, I think. Um, except for, I don't know if I need to see a full figure before I know if this is actually waifu status. Because actually, let's let's take a deeper look. Uh, somewhere around. Ladies, tell me what you think. Is this is this okay? I'm <laughs> oh, just kidding. Only like two women actually watch my Dragalia stuff. Next thing, shall we move on? Though there will not be a year-end episode of Dragalia Digest this year, please be reassured. I'm going to read all of this. Please be rest assured that the traditional end-of-year event will be arriving in full force, including a lucky letter raffle and login bonus. Look forward to further details soon. In addition, this year we'll close out with a Hinamoden themed event, um, just as previous ones did. However, unlike the events of the past two years, this one will have a slightly different atmosphere and will shine a light on those who would oppose the 12 worm, clan, worm clans rather than work with them. Finally, we plan to start a new year's off right with an announcement in early January, so I hope you'll find, uh, find time for some Dragalia Lost Fun throughout this holiday season. Now, of course... Um, no digest. Um, if you if you are unaware, there have been data mines of characters that some people assume are going to be the next collab. Um, and if we were going to get a digest, because last year's digest ended with us getting Monster Hunter uh, collab. So if we were going to do another collab, now if they were going to do another digest this year, it would probably end with the next collab announced. Um, they don't plan to do that anymore, but instead we will get an announcement of some kind in early January. Um, they say we'll start the new year right off with an announcement in early January. So that makes it sound like it's a collab, but at the same time, it's Dragalia, and it could be literally anything. For all they know, it's like, hey, here you go, we're releasing a, a, more bikini units. I don't know. Bikinis to start off the new year. That could be their announcement for all I know. But, um... Male bikinis are finally making it into the game. Get the Borat for your Xanfried or something. Um, it could be anything. So, and if you don't know what the data mines are, you should probably check out that video I made. I won't be saying the data mine characters' names in case someone wants to be surprised for when it happens. Just know that uh, there might be a collab being announced pretty soon, and you should be saving. Um... Because collab units are super, super limited, except for the one that just got released this year. Um, the one that just released this month, I should say. Um, so something to keep in mind. So we're going to have to pay close attention to that. I'll also be paying attention to the Hitamonen uh, event to see if any of those characters on the Data Mind list are in it. If I don't see any of them on there, I think that kind of will nullify the chances of it actually happening. At least that's what I think. Uh, that's what I think. So in conclusion, this is the final installment of this month in Dragalia Lost for the year 2020. 
So please let me close out this tumultuous time with tumultuous, tumultuous, no, tumultuous, tummy, tum, tumultuous. Yeah, tumultuous time for uh, with two simple words. Thank you. I kind of ruined your thing, dude. I'm sorry. I and everyone who worked uh, with me to bring the Dragalia Lost game to life would like to express our gratitude to you for playing and supporting the game this year. Please take care of yourself and others and use the holiday season as a time to rest and recharge. If our game has brought a smile to your face this year, then we have done our jobs. In closing, we're giving all players the following items this month. One tenfold summon voucher. Till next time. December 31st. Ah, <sighs> well, that's a very kind thing to say. Because, you know, he's right. It has been a bad year. Bad year this year. Ter terrible year, so. Um, it's been hard on absolutely everyone. Even if they don't mention it, I'm sure a lot of the Dragalia Lost team has had a pretty rough time. Um, but they can never really say it, I suppose. Um... So yeah, that's this month in Dragalia Lost. It's kind of all stuff that we expected. I wasn't expecting like a full on like, this is the digest. Because again, as I said previously, you know, Corona has ruined a lot of things. I could, it has ruined a lot of things. Screw just like the gotcha planning stuff. Like, if I can be real, it's screwed up a lot of things. So, um, if they don't want to have a digest this year because, you know, all the things that they were planning kind of got screwed over. I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm perfectly fine for waiting for early January to find out what thing they had planned for us is. Um, that's my kind of stance on it, and it's been my stance for a while. Um, that's how I feel. Um, I'm looking forward to this event stuff. I hope that when the feedback um, questions come out, that hopefully we have some... F that hopefully they've received the feedback about the lack of Warmite, the current drought that we're in. Um, post adding the pity system, which has been starting to be felt by a lot of people, you know, um, especially after we saw that data mine character list, there's just no way in hell you could get every single one of those characters. And I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Um, before this pity system here, I had enough Warmite to have basically every single character in the game. And then post it, I have to, I've had just had to skip so many characters because it's like, I just can't pull anymore. I used to be able to pull just a crazy amount and get whoever I wanted and not have to worry about it. But things have changed. Um, and I hope that they get enough feedback and they can um, change that in the future. But until then, we'll have to just kind of wait it and sit back for it. So that's going to be this month in Dragalia. I'm looking forward to the new stuff. And the reruns too, so I can just get some stuff. I'm glad to have more banners and I don't need the summon on. Uh, the less banners the summon on, the better for me. So, that's how I feel. So that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, tell me how you feel, subscribe, and of course, see you guys in the next one. Peace out, have a good day, and remember, I don't have an ending thing. Damn, I really need to find one of those.